Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how you can install your own hour meter on your Honda EU2000i inverter series suitcase generator. Um, the hour meter that I'm going to be installing is actually one made by Hardline um, that gives you the benefit of the number of hours that's been running but also includes the engine RPM um, in case you actually care about those kind of things. And the reason why an hour meter is beneficial for something like a lawnmower or a generator is that it allows you to keep track of the number of run time or the run hours so that you can schedule the appropriate maintenance such as oil changes or carburetor cleaning. So let's go ahead and get started. So once I've removed the hour meter from the packaging, this is what's included with this little gadget here. Um, you've got the coil sensing wire, a little tie wrap to attach the end of the wire, the actual hour slash RPM meter, some double-sided adhesive tape and two mounting screws should you decide to use screws to secure this to the chassis of whatever you're mounting it to. Now I want to make it clear that the procedure on how to mount this and how our slash RPM meter works is basically all the same for not just the Honda U2000 but for many other makes and models of generators. We're going to basically begin by popping off this top spark plug cover on the back side and then using a flat bladed screwdriver to remove the side access panel cover. Putting our ignition pickup wire like this around the ignition coil wire and do about maybe four or five loops around this ignition cable so that it has sufficient surface area to pick up the actual sparks going to the spark plug. And basically, um, after doing our loops here, that we can then go ahead and sort of tie off the ends with the included zap strap make sure that's just pulled up nice and snug and pull our zap strap nice and tight like this. Go ahead and snip off the excess zap strap. Cut off the excess zip tie with your side cutters. Go ahead and coil up the excess pickup wire, leaving about 12 inches remaining on the end so that we can fish it through to the other side of the gen set. And using a zap strap, go ahead and just tie it together. Now this second zap strap actually did not come with the hour meter, so you're gonna have to use a garbage bag tie or something, but they're inexpensive, so. Just tie that tightly. Now for those that are wondering if you can cut the sensing wire in the instructions it doesn't actually say that you can or if you can so I'd rather not gamble it and just say that you really shouldn't be cutting this thing. So this is what that bundle looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of this cable and fish it through to the other side of the generator where the side panel was removed. You can turn this little coil bundle as needed or shifted around. Next we're going to go ahead and reinstall the side panel cover but before we do so we're going to fish this wire that we had just passed through the spark plug cover through to this other side through this big gap here is to put this end of the cable through the choke lever hole while reinstalling the cover. Pay attention here that this wire, by chance, doesn't get in the way of anything that moves. Um, the only thing that moves up in this upper portion of this engine is actually this little choke lever, so it's not an issue. If you have any excess wire, you can just go ahead and tuck that back in as needed. Um, again, there's nothing critical that moves around in this area. Go ahead and replace the spark plug cover. Using a paper towel with a little bit of Windex or some soapy water, go ahead and clean the surface really good 
of any oil or dirt or residue that would hinder the double-sided sticky tape's ability to stick to the housing. Make sure it's thoroughly dry and don't use any solvents like alcohol or gasoline to rub against the plastic housing as it might damage the finish. Do the same thing with the back side of the hour meter. Next, take the sensing wire and pass it through the underside of your hour meter like this and then pass it through and then poke it into the corresponding hole like that and then while it's being held with your thumb pull the excess back into the underside of the hour meter and then there's a notch cut out either on the bottom or on the side of this meter so that it allows for proper cable routing like this or like this. Peel the adhesive backing off of the double-sided tape and carefully attach it to the back of your hour meter. Peel the opposite backing tape off of your sticky tape and then carefully attach it to your generator housing and just give it a firm push like this. Go ahead and tuck any excess wire back into the generator casing. Go ahead and test your newly installed hour meter by starting up the generator following the manufacturer's recommended starting procedures. So choke on, engine switch on, and eco mode off, vent open. So in about 5 minutes time, using a basic flat bladed screwdriver and a pair of side cutters or scissors, we were able to install this basic hour meter onto this Honda EU 2000 i series generator. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Rate, comment and subscribe.